So this first um, um, week will be essentially providing an introduction and an overview of the content of the course. The idea is to introduce a skeletal sc structure um, such that we'll be able to uh, dive into the particulars uh, in the following sections. Um, so we'll begin by hearing uh, from Laura Haas. Laura is an IBM fellow and uh, one of the eminent big data scientists at IBM. And so Laura will be telling us how um, uh, she sees big data changing the world in her uh, line of work. And then we'll move on to uh, define big data. So we'll introduce the concept of the four Vs. Hope you'll like this uh, definition. Um, and then we'll talk about the fabric of storage for big data, right? Big data is so big, doesn't really fit on uh, any individual hard drive. So it requires some magic um, in order to be able to uh, efficiently store, distribute it, right? And then process it. Um, uh, moving, moving on, we'll be uh, introducing the big brother of big data, also known as big compute, high performance computing. Um, I think you'll enjoy it. Um, some of the concepts from uh, high performance computing made their way into big data um, a terminology. And so it'll be very interesting to um, discuss it briefly. Um, and then, Peter, what do we have in the later um, well, portion of the Yeah, Dima, thank you. As you know, uh, moving data in and out of the cloud, especially big data, is particularly difficult, uh, basically because of the size, but also the nature of the data itself. There's uh, aspects of storing it and moving it that have to be considered when you have this size of data corpus that you're trying to move around. So we have a, a lecture on that, and we have a, a class on um, uh, scaling up and scaling down. Uh, the interesting part about scaling up and scaling down these systems in the cloud is that uh, for the first time, at least uh, in some time, we've been allowed to uh, do this via an API, for example. But uh, scaling up and scaling down doesn't happen automatically unless you have systems that support it. And in that lecture, we'll be talking about uh, systems that support uh, automation and autonomics for this, these kinds of activities. Uh, we know that there's really no longer any more big data without the cloud. And so we're gonna spend a lot of time talking about how big data interacts with the cloud and what uh, special considerations there are uh, needed to be um, thought through, as well as uh, introduce you to the cloud in general in the first session. 